All right, guys. Okay, so there's your friend. So really can be, what? Huh? All right. So everyone's gonna get six M and M's. I'm so glad that you love M and M's. All right. So the first activity that we would do. So since since we're kind of I guess low on time in this sense, I'm just gonna kind of show what um what would be the first activity, and then we're gonna have the groups do the, the other two activities. But this this activity is just designed to be able to interact for the teacher to interact with their, their students um, and get kind of a feel of how they're doing on the um, on subtraction. So the book that we have here is the M and M subtraction book, and it's an interactive book. So I would give all of my students, as like we have right now, six M and Ms for them to have, and so we would start and begin reading, saying, "Let's try our first problem. It's easy. You'll see." We'll look for the for the difference, what the answer will be. And then it has the 6, which is the bigger number, and then the minus sign of the smaller number, and then we equal it. So as you can see over here, it says start with the 6 red candies, take 2 candies away. So you, you would line it up on your paper, so if everyone flips over their paper, um, Mackenzie, you would have a paper like that, but um, you didn't make it. So, <laughs> You would take, you put the six, and you put it right there on the first part. So you have the six, six is the bigger number because that's the, the bigger number that we have right now. And then we'd say we take away two M and M's, or let's go ahead and take away four M and M's because that's what we have right there. So I want everyone to go ahead and put four M and M's in their mouths and eat them up. Four. Yep. Go ahead and eat up four. All right. So now what I want you to do is I want you to move the rest of your M&Ms over to the equal sign, because that's how much we have left. Go ahead and move those on over. All right, so now go ahead and count how many you have left. And we'll count together. So everyone, ready? One, two. All right, class, how many do we have left? Two. Good job. So we have two M&Ms left. All right, so let's go ahead and move on down to the next, to the next slide. And then, we would go through the book and, and we'd use the um, use the numbers to help them associate the numbers with the amount of M&Ms. Uh, so that would be kind of the way that we go through. So it'd be like nine minus three equals six, and you could do five minus four equals one. Um, and one great thing about this book is it shows where the empty ones were. And so that was one thing that I really liked is just that it shows how many they actually subtracted. And so that would be a part of what we would do. So, moving on to the other two activity centers, we're going to have you guys play around with these different parts. And so what I want you to do, so in activity center number two, what you're going to do is you guys are over here, you're going to be able, you're going to be putting goldfish on your paper, and then you're going to take away however many goldfish it says on this paper right here. So you're going to go start with this one and count out how many the goldfish that you need and then take away this many goldfish and see how many you have left and then write the answer right there. So I want you guys to draw that, okay? As you do that, and I'll come around and help you. And then over here, you would write on your papers, Billy ha or you would, you would write the answers on your papers, but it says Billy has four o Oreos. He ate two Oreos. How many does he have left? So this would be something where you'd have a parent volunteer helping out the kids and handing out Oreos and then say, okay, eat them. And then they would do that. And then they would work on this worksheet until they are done. So go ahead and use your goldfish instead of Oreos. Can you try doing this one? Do you want more goldfish? Sure. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Go ahead. Billy has four Oreos or goldfish. He ate two Oreos. How many does he have left? Five. So one, two, 
three, four. You eat two of them. One. Go ahead and eat two of them. Two. So good. good. Job. All right. How many does he have left? Go ahead and count. One. Two. Good job. Two. He has two left. All right. Keep on working on that, you guys. Go ahead and do these other story problems. Oh, nice. So do start out with that one. So seven goldfish. Right. Seven. Take Good away job. two. One. You're being such a great partner, Mackenzie. Nice. One. Two. Now I have one, two, three, four, five. Good job. Three. Good job. Three. All right. Three. Yeah. Which time do we have left? Um, what does it say? Minus. Uh, it's at six minutes. Perfect. All right. So, everyone, let's go ahead and we'll end our activities. Good job. All right, and so as you can see up here, each activity would also have, have the explanation um, in Danish, so that way our English language learner could be able to learn that. Um, and then finally, depending on the time, um, we could end by finishing up the M&M book, if that's something that, that we, didn't, we weren't able to get all the way through, um, just because it continues to talk about subtraction and just Talk, kind of uses different rhymes and different ways to use it. Um, and then we could also review the next day um, by using a different subtraction book. That way the kids can do something else to interact. Um, and then for the kids who were going a little bit ahead, what I would have them do is I'd have some extra problems written out um, and I would have them draw them on their paper and then keep on crossing them out. And then that way they have a little bit more practice, but that way they're still getting. Um, or they're still able to do something when the, the kids who are a little bit slower um, might not be, not be having a difficult time, or they might be having a difficult time. Um, but back in the teacher mode, like, okay, class, so now that we went over those different activities, um, so we were able to go over the M&M book. You guys remember that? Thumbs up if you remember the M&M book. Good job. And then we also played with our goldfish over here. Do you guys, did you guys have fun with your goldfish over here, right? We ate some goldfish and we were taking away goldfish. And then over here, you guys did so good with your Oreos, where we were able to eat the Oreos and take those away as well. Um, and I, I really liked how all of you were paying attention and you had your eyes on the parent volunteers as well as on me when I was talking. And you were doing super good at um, being respectful to each other as we were talking with each other. Um, and today, remember, we learned how to subtract single digit numbers. All right, class, you want to go ahead and say it with me? Ready? We Students will learn how, how to subtract, subtract single digit, digit numbers. numbers. Awesome. So that's exactly what we did today. All right, now we're going to go ahead and say our language objective one more time. Ready? Students will learn the meaning of subtraction, takeaway, and minus, which Remember, subtraction means taking away, or in this case, when we ate them or they disappeared, um, or when we didn't have them anymore. And then minus was when we were doing subtraction, so when we were taking away those different items. So, good job today, class, and that is our class for today. Good job, Chris. Excellent work. Yeah. Because there was a little bit that didn't record.